Hey everyone, today in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the stuff I do outside of the YouTube channel. These are some of the side projects which I make uh, in combination with one of my friends called Julia who's big into sort of like crafting and 3D printing and laser cutting and all that sort of kind of makerspace stuff. And between the two of us, we kind of, with my kind of psychedelic know-how and her crafting know-how, we put together these kind of little hobby projects and some of these we've been selling on a web store. And so I wanted to share them with you because, you know, it's a run up to Christmas. And if you're, you know, stuck for ideas of things to get that special psychonaut in your life, well, maybe we've got you covered. So I'll go through what each of these objects are, how they work, and then I'll share some links of that. If you're interested, you can go and purchase one for yourself. So we'll start off with one that I've shown a few times before, and this one is called a chrysanthoscope. And what a chrysanthoscope is, is a kind of mirrored object, which when you shine light into it and move the lights around from the sides, it creates these very vivid, distinct, trippy, DMT-esque psychedelic patterns. It's kind of like a holographic, like 3D effect that shifts backwards and forwards, very reminiscent of the kind of phasing effects that you get as you go into a DMT experience. And yeah, we've been making these now for about, probably about a year and a half, and we've sort of refined the design over time. This particular one has got uh, the channel logo on it, and we make a, a variety of different options for the kind of effects that uh, it will be generating inside. So yeah, I, uh, go and check that one out. That one's called a chrysanthoscope. I have made a couple of videos on this one before, so I will leave uh, links below where you can go and see those full length videos about how it works in detail. But as you can see, there's some images flashing up on the screen showing the kind of patterns it creates. And trust me, it doesn't do it justice to show it on camera like this. It really is like amazing when you see it in real life. This next one I'm gonna show, just on its own, it's actually quite a nice display piece. But what it is, is a kind of fractal jigsaw puzzle, which if you've got you know, someone who's really into jigsaws and these really difficult puzzles, this is the thing for them. This is like an absolute nightmare to try and solve. I personally cannot solve it without referring back to the manual which shows how all the pieces go. But let's just have a look at it just on its own as a display piece. Um, it's made out of it's kind of fluorescent uh, acrylic, so it glows really vividly, even just in sort of normal daylight. It's around the outside, it's covered in these kind of psychedelic runes. You might have seen these before. I've got a t-shirt like this on my merch store. I call this kind of like unspeakable language. It's these kind of psychedelic runes that flash up, or at least they do to me within my sort of psychedelic experiences. And I think it represents some kind of like code of the universe. So we try to capture that in these, uh, in these runes that go around the outside. Comes this little display stand. So if you want to, you can just put it like that and put it on a, on a shelf somewhere. And I think it looks pretty spiffing as it is. But the puzzle element of it comes when you tip out all these pieces. So I'll not do it with this one. I've got one already prepared over here. As you can see as well, this one's in a different colors. We've got a few different colors uh, that we can do it in, but they all look really good. And yeah, each of the pieces are these kind of little fractal slices and you have to work out how they all fit together to come back into the, the main pattern. Um, I think there's about 10 pieces in total. And yeah, you just have to sort of, that's the challenges uh, working out how they go together. I say for me, I've not managed to solve it without any help, um, but it's a, it's a great looking piece. It's a great puzzle. So yeah, if that's your thing, jigsaws your thing, check this one out. And the final piece I want to share is this one. And this is a prototype. This one's not sort of available on our web store yet, but I wanted to show it anyway, since I'm showing off all this other stuff. And this is a kind of projector lamp, which basically shoots like a different colored light and different sort of patterns and wave sequences through these kind of uh, mandalic slits on the side to create very trippy sort of light effects in, in your room. And I'll show some footage of what this looked like. And we're, we're really happy with it so far. It can just be used like an ordinary kind of bedside lamp. It just project out white light. And again, because it's coming through these mandalas, it'll project it sort of like white mandalas on, but it's good enough to read through. The really cool stuff with this one though comes when you put on one of the kind of the colored sequences and it projects out what, what to me looks like a kind of like crystalline sort of fractal shards sort of which shift and evolve over the walls. And it's really cool. And I also just want to give a special shout out while I'm talking about this lamp to my fellow Psychonaut YouTuber, uh, Minty, who's been helping us out with uh, designing the electronics and making it all working. Um, but yeah, this one, as I say, is a prototype. The finished version will probably have like a slightly different finish and pattern to it. Um, it's got a few controls on it, so you can adjust the brightness and also button for cycling through the different patterns. And yeah, um, I'd say just, uh, just keep a sort of an eye to when this one's available, but I just wanted to show it off because yeah, it's cool. <laughs> 
So as I mentioned, if you're looking for a Christmas gift to cycle in your life, then do check out our web store, uh, have a look at this stuff. It might be just a perfect thing for them. And uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. Thanks for showing an interest in the stuff that I do on the side, my kind of little hobby projects. And yeah, and I'll see you guys next time.